What's up, YouTube? It's Al from BackyardNursery.org. Checking back with you about 75 days later, give or take a day, on some propagation that I did about 75 days ago. You saw that one coming, didn't you? Uh, but so I'm working today in my backyard office um, instead of in the backyard nursery because it's cold and rainy outside. But here we go. So today's guest is a guest you met before. These are the baby cuttings from the black satin blackberry. So if you recall, this was a plant that I got uh, from Lowe's, I think, right at the end of the season. It was after they were already doing um, a get rid of these sale and everything was half off. So this was a large um, neglected overgrown plant. And what I did was um, try to take some cuttings from the long leaders there and turn them into baby plants. And what you'll see from the start is that we have literally a 50% track record. So 50% success it tends to be a trend uh, in what I'm seeing, but let's dive deep and let me get you some better close-ups of the plants. All right, so the first thing that we'll see is the sad, lonely cells. So lonely. And um, what I think was happening is that I had too much moisture, too much humidity that ended up causing rot. And so as evidence that there's so much humidity, take a look at some of this growth. Right from some of these growth nodes, you see it's putting out leaves and it's also putting out roots. It's like these plants are trying to figure out what's going on. It's like, I'm not sure, do I root here or do I leave here? And uh, so pretty crazy. And then I know what was happening. What I was seeing is that the, the leaves were turning black, the stems were turning black, it was falling. Uh, there's a big mess. And so the, the biggest learning that I keep trying to pass on to you all is be careful about your potting mix. Um, I was using some combination. So you can see there's some perlite in here. It was turning brown because it was in the lights and covered in algae, I guess. But um, I was using some perlite, but not nearly enough. And the bulk of this component is either topsoil or compost. Compost is a no-no, I've been learning. And um, there's also some, some uh, hardwood bark mulch mixed in. Uh, but ultimately these things get, they get super soggy and wet. I can see if like to the touch, it's still sopping wet. So these are too wet. I need to do a better job of getting airflow and drying these things out. And so I think there was a lot of human error here on my part. And I'm just sharing what I'm learning as I go with you, hoping that you won't have the same mistakes that I make. Let me be your crash test dummy. That should be a song, shouldn't it? Is that a country song? Let me be your crash test dummy. All right, and um, and then here you see this one mystery stick that looks like it's dead, but I have yanked on this puppy pretty hard and it's in there, it doesn't want to move. So I do think that that's rooted in. So I'm going to count it for today. I promise on the official tallies, if I take these out in spring and it doesn't have anything, I won't count it, but I do want to leave it in there just in case so that it has a chance to recover. But you can see, look, look at that one. There's a giant root sticking all the way out. That fella is looking for more water somewhere. And you can see roots, like I said, are coming out above ground. And so lots of roots. So again, we have success, about a 50% success rate. Maybe I'll call that 40% with a bonus. And you can also see where there are new buds that are looking to leaf out. So these plants are ready to go and I'm gonna keep them growing under the grow lights and fertilize them gently and try to help encourage even more growth throughout the rest of the winter here and give them a head start into the spring. So I hope you enjoyed this follow-up on the propagation of the black satin blackberry. And again, uh, gosh darn it, I wish I had a cell full of propagations, but instead I had the four and a half that were working. But I wanna be real and transparent with you. You saw what I did, you saw the dirt. You see that the dirt plus too much water plus a humidity dome that's completely closed doesn't work as well as it could be. So in future, uh, applications. I'm going to try to get better and better with this technique and share secrets that I learned along the way. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, please hit
hit the like button right now if you don't mind. That's really important to me and would be a huge favor, uh, but only if you like it. And then consider subscribing if you haven't already and, um, and look forward to sharing with you the next experiment when it's available. All right, thanks so much, bye.